of the turbulent relationship between a brother, two less and a sister, Zanel, living in the township of Alex. And after witnessing the abuse of his sister as a child, two less vows to protect it at any cost. When Zanella falls for an older man, he's then determined to put an end <coughs> to their relationship. Tina Sobabili recently walked away with Audience Choice Award at the Josie Film Festival as well as the Danny Glover Pan African Film Festival uh, in Los Angeles, respectively. Director of the film, Ernest Ngosi, as well as its writer and producer, Mushibudi Pear, are here to tell us more about their wins and the film. Guys, good morning. Welcome to Morning yeah, Live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Let's talk about what inspired Tina Subabila. I'll let, let you start. <laughs> yes, since you're the writer. <laughs> Um, I think as filmmakers, we always sit um, and have these long discussions of um, how we use the tool as for social commentary. And um, there are certain social ills that we always felt that need to be discussed and brought forth. And after a lot of conversation yeah. with Ernest, we decided to pin this one down. I mean, you debuted at the at DIFF. Yeah, you know, yeah. and to almost empty seats, and here you are. Yeah. You take it to the U.S., <laughs> and nice. the U.S. is jumping up and down. Very nice. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? Why do you think that is? Well, I think it's the nature of the South African. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, as soon as you see something that looks like yours, and looks like it's sh it's local, you tend to think, ah, Mzansi Piscop. Yeah, you know. But if you actually give it a chance, you'll find that it's actually quite quite good. Yeah, you know. So we were actually surprised by the reactions. Um, the international has because we first showed in New York, and in New York, amazing. I mean, we've got like a five-minute standing ovation in New yeah. York. Yeah, you know, and then to play at the Pan African Film Festival with like a listers mm. and actually win there was something. So that really got us a lot of buzz when we got back home. So really happy for that. Talk to us about your cast. Uh, oh. Who's in the film? What, what? Why were they the best people? To yeah, to be yeah. playing these parts. Uh, we have um, Zikona Sojaka. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody knows her. Mm -hmm. She also had an amazing role in the Mandela movie. We have Richard Lukunku, um, Kosna Tikweva, Busi Siwe Mjali, um, Tato Lada, Mpo Pops. You know what I mean? Like these are like young people now that are really at the top of their game, and it was very nice to collaborate and actually get young people to make a project mm -hmm. for themselves that really means something to them and like really show their chops of what they can do. Um, what Mozzie said before, like it wasn't just a, okay, now we need to make a movie about social ills. It was mm. also a validation on your creative as, as young people. How, like, do like, like, how, do we, how, do we, how do we do something for ourselves and mm. actually make a mark? Mishibudo, what were the highlights of you? I mean, you wrote this and here it is, it's, it's coming to life. What stood out for you? Um, to be quite honest, it was actually quite a traumatic experience mm. because there's stuff that we, need, we needed to dwell into that um, are very uncomfortable. Mm. And um, we had to back up a lot of choices in what do we portray. I mean, for the whole point that we don't want to cover abuse, what are we allowed to show the people without traumatizing them, without bringing up um, questions of have we gone too far as, mm. a, as, as filmmakers. So it was a, lo it was a learning experience, uh, but it was a validation that as filmmakers we have a voice mm. and um, we can use it. W how did you reach that decision though? You say there are certain things that you know you question whether you can do it or not. Who answered those questions for you? And when were you in agreement say, yeah, no, we're not going too far with this or we're, we're just about <laughs> all right? I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. answer that. Um, just purely that this is our first film. I mean, we, we put all our, our own money behind it. Mm. And we were like, we're not about to edit ourselves if we are putting up the majority of the cash. And Nobody's <laughs> the funder's yeah. not going to complain. Yeah, mm. so we're the funders and we didn't complain. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so we did it, yeah. What do you think you guys did right, though, uh, with this film, getting the amount of recognition that it did? And at some point, you must have doubted it because when you opened a div, empty seats, and then, you know, everybody else is jumping up and down for it. But somehow you did something right. What do you think that is? I think we had like an unwavering passion to just succeed and not quit. We had plenty of opportunities to quit, especially young people now. You never have people pushing you to go all the way. So this was an opportunity for us to really break the mold and break the stereotype of doing something meaningful, doing something for yourself and like getting up and doing it yourself against all odds, mm. you know, and like I'm actually not surprised by the by the results now because we've we've put in four years. Yeah. You know, like you gotta see four years. You gotta see something after four years. Yeah. You, know, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? The yeah. results have to show. True. Any any chance that you guys are gonna go on main circuit in terms of Oh yeah. Mm. 
<laughs> let, uh, let my producer do yeah. the talking. Um, the whole point of us um, making this film is that there's a certain target market that we want to speak to and that's a target market that does not necessarily um, afford going to the cinema. So there's a program that um, we're working on mm -hmm. to sort of get um, private investors to come on board um, to buy the seats out for the young kids that yeah. need to hear this message that we're telling this film to watch it. What is that message? Oh, um, that things happen around us and we can't ignore what happens behind closed doors. We need to talk about it. We all actually have to do something with the abuse that's happening. We all have to do something with um, the circumstances that young girls face in South Africa mm. where you find yourself, I mean, the whole sugar daddy thing. Um, a lot of us are just turning a blind eye to what's happening. It's become a norm. All right, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, those uh, that is Ernest Nkosi, who's the director of the South African film Tina Suwabidi, The Two of Us, which is uh, re which recently walked away with Audience Choice Award at the Jawsy Film Festival, as well as the, the writer and uh, producer Mushibudi uh, Pea talking to us about that film. Uh, it won the Danny Glover's uh, Pan African Film Festival that was in Los Angeles a little earlier this month. Well, let's talk in that break.